Larry, it turns out that luckily for you, most of the competition in these parts is peasantry or something like it. Farmers like Sasha have come in from abroad hoping to win, but they've got nothing on a noble who's trained their entire life to destroy people. Yeah, money and power wins again. It really doesn't take long, earthbending being as brutal as it is. You get a guy in a fight, you knock him out. You get another guy in a fight, you knock him out. The entire time, Bingle is excitedly watching. Wow! Whoa! So cool! By about the fifth guy, Bingle calls you over. He goes, Mr. Lawrence, look, I tried to copy your armor technique. He stamps his feet, and some earth armor comes up, and right away you can see he's got it technically all wrong. But he does strap it around his body, and it might provide some protection. Okay. Wow. Uh, that is great, kid. Bingle, you said your name was, right? Actually, I don't, I don't remember if I did introduce myself. I'm, I'm pretty sure she called you Bingle. Sasha shrugs. Yeah, kid, the thing is, I mean, we're great trainers and everything. We can teach you to be amazing earthbenders, but you gotta travel with us, because we travel. Oh, that's great. We travel too. I'm actually from the Light Nation. Yes, thank you, kid. That was established. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot. So what do you say? You sign on with us. We'll teach you how to bend earth. Uh, our next stop is probably, oh, the Dark Nation. Sasha goes, the Dark Nation? Oh, yeah, yeah. They got some competitions there as well. I bet you didn't know that. Oh, uh, do they? Uh, I thought the Earth Nation were the only ones. That is great. I am glad that we also do this. Yes, thank you, Elveston. Sasha says, oh, uh, I don't know if we can go back there. And yet. why not, my lovely miss? My lovely miss? I mean, miss? not my lovely miss. I, I, just an expression. A, a young lady. A young lady. Why not a young lady? I think I'm a criminal there. I'm not sure. I didn't technically do anything illegal. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. I mean, you didn't, you know, uh, kill a government agent, right? So long as they're still alive, they can drop the charges and, and say they're sorry for everything. Oh. Well, I don't know if these guys would drop the charges. Sure they would. Sure they would. Uh, look, look. We'll go to the Dark Nation capital. We'll do the competitions. Your kid, he's going to learn this stuff. And then maybe you'll get a Dark Nation teacher, right? Bingle goes, well... I do have to learn dark bending. Oh, that is so lucky for you. Paulina here is a dark master. Wait, you're a dark master? I thought you guys were all earth masters. Oh, right. Well, I am a dark master, and Lawrence there is a earth master. And, uh, well, if I could be honest here, Elveston is actually an air master. We, we compete in different competitions. There's some in every single city, and, uh, you know, we, we hedge our bets. Get it? Because sometimes they're only doing air competitions, and sometimes they're only doing dark competitions. But you, kid, you can do all the elements. So, hey, you can make a living anywhere we go. It's perfect. Stick with us. You're going places. I slap him on the back. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, I mean, I haven't really seen everybody fight yet. And, um, plus, don't tell this to anybody. But he reaches into his pocket, and he pulls out what looks like a little lizard with frills along its neck. It's bright red. He goes, I have a light dragon. Oh. Move over, let me see. That's not a dragon. That's too small. You fit it in your pocket. Oh, well, he's just a baby. But here's the thing. They can turn into light and carry you all across the world. It's amazing. I befriended this one by not smashing his egg. Is that really all it takes to get a light dragon as a pet? Apparently, nature is crazy. Oh, no, I've seen this before. I had a neighbor who kept a pet deer. They go crazy in the mating season. That thing, once it gets older, it's going to kill you. Oh. Oh, I had not thought about that. Yeah, is that male or female? Uh, how can you tell? Don't, don't lizards kind of look the same no matter what? Well, don't worry about that. I mean, the lizard can just carry us all to the Dark Nation, right? We'll get there before it grows up and kills us all. Oh, well, I mean, that's why I showed you guys, though, is because he is how I've been getting around, but he can really only carry about, oh, I don't know, three or four people at most. I don't think he can carry all five of us. Oh. Oh, really? How do you know he can't carry five people? Oh, because when I was in town visiting my old friends, they wanted me to have the light dragon carry them, and the, the light dragon just couldn't. When it gets bigger, I bet it could carry you, and then it'll maul you. Your pet boer, Potato Soup, goes, arr, arr, arr. There, there, Clam Chowder. We don't have to be afraid of it until it gets bigger. <laughs> yes, Clam Chowder. Wink, wink. Mm. Yeah, I, I see your concern, kid, but Elveston is right. Uh, you know, you can't really trust wild animals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, Clam Chowder knows. Clam Chowder lived in the woods for a while. Well, I trust Sprickles right now. Sprickles? Yeah, Sprickles is his name. That is like a letter away from Sprinkles. Well, he, he is a pet, so Sprinkles is also okay. He, he does that sometimes in my pocket. And then he's gonna maul you! All right, enough with the alarmism. Uh, listen, kid, I don't see any reason we can't all travel together. Sasha grabs Bingo by the arm and pulls him away. Excuse me, can we talk? And you can hear the heated discussion. Bengal, these guys just clearly want to use you to win competitions in other cities. 
Mingle goes, yeah, but I get paid to travel. That's important, right? And she goes, yes, but not on contract. We have to stay flexible. And he goes, but I really kind of want to beat people up for a living. That'd be cool, right? She goes, you are such a boy. Why do you want to do that for a living? What if you ever get tired of that? Well, then I'd stop doing it. Not if you're on a contract. Okay, fine. Bengal turns back to you guys. He says, I'm not signing any contracts. All right, kid, I promise you, zero contracts. Sasha grabs Bengal again. She goes, that's even more suspicious. Why? He said no contract. Because what are they getting out of it? A guy who beats people up in all the cities. But there's no contract saying that they'll get a cut of your winnings. Oh, that is a good point. That is really weird. Hey, what do you guys get out of it? Uh... Huddle up, guys, guys. What do we get out of it? We just like to be around kids. Yeah, we like to pound their butts. No, 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 we're good guys. We're good guys. We, we, why would we like to be around kids? Tell him uh, your aunt was a babysitter, and, and uh, it reminds you of home. I, I personally don't really know anything about kids, though. You know they're hormonal. Like that dragon's gonna be. That's pretty much all I know. Okay, tell him that you'd like to learn about kids, so that in the future, if you meet a wife, then you can tell her that you have experience with kids. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard, Lowry. If you guys know what you're getting out of this, why is this huddle taking so long? Well, you see, I didn't want to admit this, but I have no experience with kids, and I'd really like to experience looking after kids, so that when I meet a lady, I can tell her I know how to raise kids, and it'll, it'll make me more approachable as a, as a prospective husband. Sasha grabs Bingle's arm again. This is really, really sketchy. I don't think I want to go with these guys. Bingle goes, yeah, but they are really good earthbenders. One of them is a really good earthbender. Okay, okay. All right. We'll check it out. See if maybe there's a better earthbender. I mean, these guys are going to have to fight more people, right? She goes, okay, all right. That's a good plan. And he goes, okay, maybe we'll join you. But first, we got to see you guys fight in the championship. That's where all the best Earthbenders are, right? Ah, uh, come on. I already beat like four or five people. You included. Yeah, but I'm not an Earthmaster. And the guys in the championship are Earthmasters. I want the best Earthmaster. Aren't you trying to get trained for free? Yeah, and you guys offer to train me for free. Maybe other people will offer to train me for free or, um, in a less suspicious way, demand some kind of payment or, like, contract or servitude. I don't know. Well, has no one ever trained you for free before? Well, there was this old guy out in the mountain, but he trained me because he hated the Dark Nation and he knew that we were being chased by the Dark Nation. I don't suppose you guys hate the Dark Nation. No, you can't because you're going to the Dark Nation <laughs> City. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that we like the Dark Nation. Right, guys? We hate the Dark Nation. We hate Dark Nation City. Oh, it's a cesspit. Yeah, all my enemies uh, are there. Somebody once spat on me. He was a homeless guy. He spat on me. There though. are homeless people there. Someone should do something. The Dark Nation. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's decided. I think we got it. Okay, all right. That sounds great. Okay, guys, huddle up. Gosh darn it, we screwed it up! You didn't sound angry enough at the Dark Nation. Potato Soup, where were you? <laughs> you could have backed us up on the wild animal stuff. Come on, we gotta work with each other. <laughs> oh, come on, Paul, it's not Potato Soup's fault. We didn't know. Oh my god, now we gotta battle the Earth Nation's finest fighters or whatever. You mean I have to battle them. I do. Yeah, I mean, Lowry does. Maybe it'll be fun. Can I be honest with you guys? I don't even like earthbending. I feel like I got kind of pushed into it by my parents. I always sort of wanted to be a firebender. That looks fun. You're, you're, Lowry, you're a great earthbender. Yeah, but like, man, if I could be like Bingo, I would be able to test out firebending. I'd know what's my yeah, favorite. Yeah, but we can't all be the, the savant or whatever. Well, I got enough dots now or whatever to get in, right? A fairly ratty looking dude walks up behind you guys. He goes, excuse me, y'all. What, sir? Can you not see that we're in the middle of a team huddle? Oh, well, I can see that. And also, I got to see all your matches and everything. You're a right good fighter, Mr. Sir. Thanks. I was kind of talking through an existential crisis, though. Well, I don't mean to get in the way of all that. I just want to let y'all know that I represent a certain, shall we say, business interest around here. For example, I am one of the guys who does gambling and everything that is legal in these parts. Uh, but also, I represent certain criminal ties. Although, keep that on the down low. And I was wondering, hey, if you're going to the championship... There's usually lots of good money on those guys, and if you could just go ahead and take a dive when I say so, I could cut you in for some of the winnings. No way, that would be cheating. Yeah, no thanks, we're trying to impress a kid. And a girl. Ah, oh, shucks, fellas, I get that. I try to impress girls myself. Uh, but, you know, with fellas like y'all, you're a little bit more discerning. For a girl, I usually go for a bouquet. But with a group of guys like yourself, I usually threaten to kill your families. So you can cooperate with the organization that I represent, or I could kill your families. Or you could earn a bunch of money. What sounds good to you? 
You're going to kill my mother? Yep, I reckon I will. Well, all right, go ahead. That's what I choose. <laughs> all right, y'all must not be from around here. I mean, I will kill it. Yeah, that's fine. Go tell Ma I said that that was fine. All right, well, you think about what I said. I'll be looking into where y'all are staying. Yeah, all right. Actually, hold on a second. Uh, uh, did y'all change your mind? No. Um, Question, though. How are you guys with the animal black market? Oh, smuggling, yeah. We do a little bit of smuggling here and there. Uh, why? You need something? No. Um, what if I told you, though, that I had something? Would you be willing to sell a light dragon? A light dragon? Ain't they just myth? Evidently not. Well, if you can get me a light dragon, and you're willing to throw a key fight when I let you know, I suppose we could do some business. All right, then. You've got yourself a deal, good sir. Shake the guy's hand. I'll be keeping an eye on y'all. And he fades back into the crowd. I don't like that. Where do criminals come from, anyway? The crowd. You know, the people. That's why we can't trust them in government. Yeah. But all right, gentlemen, I have been struck by a brilliant idea. If you were not following, we now know that Bingle gets around by turning into light thanks to that light dragon. If we can get that light dragon away from him and sell it to a criminal element, he will never see his pet again and he will be grounded. At which point, we can pound his butt freely at our leisure. Ah, but then he won't want to be our friend, Paul. You guys screwed it all up already. In fact, at Potato Soup, I feel like you dropped the ball the hardest. Mm. And also, Larry, no offense, but I don't know for sure that you're going to win the whole championship. And if you do, then we have to keep up this charade of you being the champion. I could just wear a mask to the whole thing. I'd be, uh, call me Dark Mask. Okay, all right, that's good. I like that. You'll wear a mask, you'll be Dark Mask. But if you don't win, though, I would like assurances. If Bingo loses his pet, we still win in the long run. But wait, if I win the fight, aren't they going to kill your mom? Oh yeah, I did tell them they could do that. We should probably go tell mom I told them they could do that. Let's go back to the carriage. Well, you get back to the carriage and mom has prepared dinner. It's nothing amazing. It's just the food that you have. She's got sandwiches. So how'd it go? I see you don't have Bingle again. All in due time, mother. Because now we know things about Bingle we didn't know before. Let me guess, you finally figured out whether he was a little boy or a little girl. Oh, we already know he's a boy. We found out how he's traveling the world. He has a light dragon. A light dragon, yes. You know about the light dragon? They mentioned it in the Light Nation. I assumed he had one. Mother, if they mentioned squirrels in the Light Nation, would you assume that Bingle flew around on it as a ray of light? If they called it a light squirrel and referred to it as a mysterious source of floating lights, then yes. Okay, well, we know he keeps it in his pocket now. So there you go. Great, and this brings you closer to finally having him in your grasp. How? Because, Mother, now we are going to steal the light dragon, we are going to sell the light dragon, and then we are going to pound Bingle in his bottom, and we know he's a boy. And he's in a lot of danger come the mating season. If he keeps the light dragon, yes. Okay, and how are you going to steal the dragon? Well, he trusts us. Kind of. He's weirded out by us. Makes sense. But I'll just reach into his pocket and take the light dragon. And then what if it turns into light, carries you up in the air, and then drops you? What? <laughs> um... See, it pays to catch on earlier and think of things for longer. Well, our other option is that Lowry defeats the world's strongest earthbenders, or at least the Earth Nation's strongest earth. I'll be honest, I don't even want to. Yeah, morale's already kind of low on that front. Eh, I mean, you are some of the best. Re really? We're some of the best? Well, Lowry's one of the best earthbenders I've ever oh, met. Oh, you hear that, Lowry? Oh, you're good. You're good. Oh, thank you. But you could all work on your brains. Oh, yeah. Well, the thing about that, though, is if we win the championship, Bingle will go with us willingly. Uh, but also, I told some guys, perhaps with the Earth mob, that they could kill you if that happens. You what? Well, I'm telling you now, so don't be mad. Why did you tell them that they could kill me? Well, they said it was that, or throw the fight and win a bunch of money. Oh, and of course, you went with the kill your mother option. Oh, don't act like you wouldn't ask them to kill me. I wouldn't. I would take the money. They were offering money or kill your family, idiot. Well, if we throw the fight, we win the money, but then we don't impress Bingo. Okay, all right. I'm all caught up now. Thanks. Maybe I can take the dragon, and if it takes me up into the sky, I'll be fine. Sure, but how are you with sleight of hand? Uh, maybe I could learn real fast. You could teach me. No, I don't want him to know right away that he's lost his pet. We need to get this out of there under his nose. I mean, when you pound a kid, you gotta do it subtly. If you do it all big and loud, the guards will come running, they'll get involved, things will get too hot. Can I once again maybe ask us to start rephrasing how we talk about capturing Bingle? Why? I don't know. I, I just think instead of pounding, let's say stomping. Like stomp his butt? Yeah, we stomp his butt, and then it becomes too illegal. That doesn't sound cool. Let's say the five O will get too hot. Yeah, it's nice to use slang, Larry. I mean, it makes us feel hip with the kids. Who we are pounding. Yeah. Okay. 
Anyway, we know the little light dragon can't carry too much weight, so what if I take the dragon from Bingle, I toss him on the ground, and then, Lowry, you bury it? That'll kill it. Uh, not if I throw it in a lantern first. Well, I feel like I'm going to get told something obvious, but why don't we want to kill it? Whoa. Elvis! Yeah, man, I mean, come on, there's limits. Yeah, it's just the kid's pet. I mean, like, it doesn't know anything. It, it depends on him for food and love and water and everything. I mean, it's like his baby. Yeah, we're not baby killers. We're not insane. Okay, okay. I, I mean, I, I didn't think of it that way. I don't know. Yeah, there's lines. I mean, you wouldn't want him to hurt potato soup like that, would you? Oh, uh, no, potato soup is my sweetheart. Uh... See, there you go. You don't want him to kill potato soup, so we don't kill the lizard. That's just basic, you know, um, war math. Rules of engagement. Yeah, but he might still try to sell potato soup after kidnapping him. <laughs> Elvis, don't worry. We will not let that happen. And also, potato soup weighs like uh, two or three tons or something like that. I would like to see Bingle try to carry him away. You are a big boy, aren't you, potato soup? Who's your big boy? You're a big boy. <laughs> All right, so that's the plan. Gonna take the lizard, put it in a lantern, gonna toss it on the ground. We'll probably do this during the fight, right? So that way it won't draw any suspicion. Larry, you bury the lizard. We'll come back and we'll get it when the fighting is over. It'll probably be stunned from the lack of oxygen and not dead. And then we'll sell it to a criminal organization, which will, uh, well, if they do something evil, then that's on them. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan to me. I feel like I'm glad to see you guys are using the resources around you so well. See, that's using your brains. That's good. Great. great. Oh, uh, and mom, could you sell us a black mask? Larry's got to go out incognito. 